My son. Dad. When a madman goes gallivanting the streets, it is the family that bears the shame. I want you to know that anything that affects the eyes equally affects the nose. I have called you here as a father so that we can talk like father and son. Okay, I'm all ears. Now, I want you to know something. That the blood that is flowing through your veins is my blood. You are my son. I can never tell you lies. The heavens bear me witness that I had never misled you. Not even for one day. I know that. No, you don't know. Yes, you don't know. If you do, you will not be questioning my authority and decisions as to the choice of career that you are chosen. Dad, do you know that it's my career that we are talking about here? Dad, can't you understand it that every day of my life I see myself as a DJ? All I want to be is a very popular DJ and a successful one for that matter. That's what makes me happy, Dad. You know what? You are mad. Yes. I said you are raving mad. How do you explain it? What is the connection that the only son of a lecturer is a DJ? What an infradignity. That is the point. That is the problem. It's all about you. It's all about your happiness. You don't even care about your only son's happiness. You don't care. What? What? what why are you doing this, Dad? I've, I've told you so many times, I cannot be any other thing apart from becoming a DJ. That is what makes me happy. Now shut up and get out of my presence. I said get out. Okay. But Dad, let me tell you one thing. I will definitely be a very popular DJ in the nearest future. Wait. You better talk to that, your useless son. Else, it's either he kills me in this house or I will kill him. Not again, my husband. Please calm down. You better speak to him in a language that he will understand. This is not a threat. It is a promise. Good 
know we do. So we need some rest. Let's go in. Boom, what's up? That's bad. We went to school. <laughs> Listen to me. Go back to wherever you are coming from. I know that you're not deaf and dumb. Go back to where you're coming from. I am talking to you. I said go back to wherever you're coming from. Don't you get me? Go back to wherever you're coming from. I don't like this one. You're tempting me. You're tempting me. You're talking to me like that? Woman, 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 listen to me. This boy will no longer stay in this house. It is an order. Chinedu, now leave. Ha, how about that? Have you forgotten Chinedu is only son? Ha. I know he is my only son. But can you please shut up your mouth and get inside now? See, Dad, let me just tell you one thing. Let me tell you, I'm not leaving this house because this is my father's house. You can go to your own father's house and give this order. I'm telling you. You are telling me to mellow down my anger. When I have a son that I am feeding three square meals every day in this house. I am watching my car. All you can say is I should mellow down. But you know what? Very soon. Very soon. son yet because as you can see I am beginning to lose my patience if you don't talk to him what I will do to your son will be recorded in the Guinness book of records as yet another wonder of the world this is not a threat I promise you that my husband please please calm down that boy over there is our own blood. Can't you see? Please, I am begging you. Hmm? That is what you always say. Calm down. Calm down. For how long do you want me to calm down? Perhaps you don't get this. I am a reputable lecturer for crying out loud. How do you want me to explain to my friends, my colleagues out there, that my only son is a DJ? What is the connection? What is the correlation coefficient between me and that boy as father and son? Woman, you better talk to your son. Talk to him. My husband, please. I have been trying. I will continue to try. Just exercise patience. I believe that one day this boy will change. Please, For just take it easy with him. Your efforts are not good enough. You are giving me the impression that you are behind that boy's recalcitrant attitude. But you know what? If you don't talk to him, if it doesn't change, I promise you something. We're gonna have it tough in this house. At worst, I will kill him. I will kill him.
Any law book or holy book that say that becoming a school dropout is a crime or a sin. Mom, I love to be a DJ. That is all that makes me happy. Mom, can't you understand that music is my life? in a man's life where he has to make certain decisions. Perhaps today is that red later day. From this day henceforth until the end of the world, you cease to be my son. Now get out of my house. My husband, please. Remember this boy is our only son. Please. Please come. Now if you don't leave me, I will order you to go in there, pack your things, and get out as well. Dad, you know what? You amaze me. Are you for real a lecturer? You act as if you are not educated. You have the effrontery, the temerity to talk back at me? <laughs> Idiot! Now get out of my house! I said get out! Minute. 
Daddy, Daddy, please. And now will you get out of my sight? Get out of you, idiots! Nonsense.
brother. He's a strong guy. He'll be fine wherever he is. So please stop crying. <laughs> Please now. Please stop crying. Are you now fulfilled? You think asking your only son out of the house will solve the problem? No, it will not solve the problem. Career pursuit is all about one's happiness. Allowing him to be a DJ he has longed for, dreamed, and wished to be would have been the best thing you would have done as a better father. Not forcing him into a career he don't wish to be. Listen to me, woman. Just thank your stars that I'm in a good mood today. Good day. I want to see my son. Chin do will be fine. Where, wherever he is. You are I'm not sure. You are not sure. Mommy, it's okay. Stop crying. I want to now. see my son. Mommy, please stop crying. Hey. Good. My only son.
up from my bed I need Lampert to die To always lead and guide me Yeah, there are many things The world will make me give up As I pray to God I see who 